YouTube Shukun Shinobi here with a quick look at the Digimon Fusion Fighters app for iOS. Um, it should be available for Android. I don't know if it's out quite yet, but it is uh, going to be released for Android. Now remember on the Digimon Fusion toy packages where it said um, touchscreen compatible or smartphone compatible or whatever the heck it said on the packages in reference to these cards? Well, here's our answer, the Digimon Fusion Fighters app, and it's more or less a full-functioning game, and it's actually pretty cool. So I've got every single toy card available at the current moment in time. This was recorded in January 2014, so everything out before then is nice and available for this video. So you can see the icon right up there if my camera wants to focus, Digimon Foo. Click that. Got a pretty cool picture right there. And you get a very simplified version of the Digimon Fusion theme on there. So basically you have the game right here, uh, scanning in with a card, a look at your team, a look at your database, help, and then muting or changing sound settings. So pretty simple there, um, but we're going to go ahead and kick the, which one would be music, this one? We're just going to kick that off because we don't need that here in our lives. Alright, so without further ado, uh, take a quick look at the scanning capabilities. You can go from the digi alphabet or from the card. So you take the card and you line it up right about here. I didn't think I hit all four, but... Shout, man! Apparently I did. So this is the screen where you take a look at the 3D model of the character. You can spin him around, you can make him bigger, smaller. Whatever you want to do. It's actually pretty decent 3D models for a uh, phone game. So pretty cool there. We go back. Um, obviously that didn't add anything to our database. Since we had Shout One already. And I pulled a couple characters from the first level of the actual game. So um, ignoring the, um, the Shout Mon cards for now. I am going to try the Shout Mon Star Sword card. Since I'm pretty curious. I'm only doing three hits. Cool. Star Sword! It did give Shoutmon the Star Sword, so that's pretty cool. Take a look at that on there. Pretty cool. So ignoring the normal Shoutmon cards, here is a Shoutmon times four card. Really cool. I like these renders. They're actually pretty good. So you can get pretty big. Go ahead and do one for Belistamon. It doesn't ping for that fourth hit. That's the problem I'm having. There we go. It only rendered half of them. Ballistamon! Ballistamon. Really cool. Oh, so yeah, that's another Ballistamon. Go ahead and do Darulumon. Go 
Now I haven't had this error yet. Oddly enough, the app seems to be more accurate than the toy. In terms of scanning these cards. Let's get through them on. Here's a Starmont. And there's no Pikmons here. I'm really upset. Forever Pikmons. Move into Team Blue Flare with a Greymon summon. There's Greymon from Team Blue Flare. There's a Greymon and another Greymon. Here's a Metal Greymon. Alright, one. Not lined up properly. So he's flying, and so that's kind of what Metal Greymon does. I really do like these, really cool. And Male Bergemon is our last card. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's go backwards. I finally had the card screw up. Male Bergeron! And there we go. So there is Male Bergeron. And I'm not sure what scanning duplicate cards would do for you exactly. But uh, from here, you can set a team. But from here, you can set a team of, of three for whatever it is that you want to do for the battles. Um, you can click it and select one yourself. So I have Ballistamon, Male Bergemon, and Shoutmon times four. Um, I'm not sure why I don't have. Greymon at all. That's mildly disappointing. Oh. Oh, it slots. Okay, here's your leader. So you can have Shoutmon, uh, Darulumon, Greymon, or Metal Greymon in this slot. Go ahead and do Metal Greymon. And then here, Shoutmon times four because that is a good thing to do. And then in this slot, we only have Starmons. So we'll set those. Um, you can also click Auto, and it'll give you your best set, which was the one that I picked. So <laughs> I will go with that. So that's our team. We're all set up here. Here's a quick look at the collection. So we'll take a look at all of the Digimon you've collected thus far. Like I said, it doesn't specify differences um, exactly but um, the Shoutmon and Star Sword since that was a different card uh, made a different summon so it goes off the name on the toy cards but we'll go ahead and go into the Village of Smiles we have level 2 we're fighting uh, Eightmon I think so here's our team you can uh, edit your team right there just click on battle and you go in. It's very simplistic, just like the Power Ranger scanner app. You just hit these targets. 
and then they get defeated. Now, I have a really overpowered team since I just started the game. Oh, it's that thing from uh, Hunters, Dame Kukumon or whatever his name is. And so you fight a an X amount of Digimon until you get to the boss battle for that level. And the boss is always and I guess not. Now my team is so overpowered I can't actually demonstrate a Digifusion attack. Uh, <laughs> but um, the little uh, fusion symbols or cross symbols um, that you saw on there uh, will eventually activate a Digifusion attack. But um, that just about sums it up. There are some Digi Alphabet things that you can do. <laughs> Failed. So if you get Digi uh, Alphabet codes for the toy, they also work in here to summon things as well if you wanted to do it that way. So pretty cool. A lot of people were complaining about the Fusion Loader toy on the fact that it wasn't a full functioning game or virtual pet and while this is definitely no substitute to that it's a pretty neat actually yeah the um, battling in it is rather simplistic but uh, I actually kind of like it um, it's a nice way to kind of pull in uh, the toy cards as well I kinda wish it differentiated something so that it would show you a card database of the toy cards that you collected so far but um, it, it doesn't seem to do that it just goes off of the name on here so like Shoutmon Star Sword is different than Shoutmon but these two Shoutmon won't um, activate anything new in there so pretty neat so if we get a new name card somewhere down the line I'll go ahead and take a look at it in here otherwise I'll just skip over it but pretty cool like I said it is on the uh, the iTunes App Store right now for iOS and if it's not already on the Google Play Store for Android devices uh, keep checking by it should be up pretty soon I think uh, pretty neat it does get repetitive but um, I'm interested to see uh, what kind of things they pull for uh, for later levels so I'm gonna get to playing and uh, you can get to watching other reviews thanks for watching take care and have a great one bye